Uh, other than that, when we are talking about the conservational efforts or when we are talking about conservation, or particularly your film which you are making on Garo Hills and the elephant and the green which you see there, uh, what is the kind of message which you want to tell the world or through your film you want to depict? Uh, so the message is twofold. First off, and most importantly, is I feel that um, we need to raise the awareness of the fact that uh, conservation and restoration of nature is possible. Uh, because uh, there's, nowadays there's a lot of skepticism about this. No? Also with other uh, conservationist NGOs, the focus is always on the negative. Oh, we're losing this much uh, forest, we're losing these animals, this sort of thing. No? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to show people that even though some areas might be damaged, some animals might be threatened, they, this can be reversed, this process. No? So this is what I'm trying to show in image, images. And then the second part, uh, what I'm trying to bring across is I'm just trying to connect people all across the world. No? From, I want people in the Netherlands to know what, what occupies people's minds here in the Garo Hills, a, a region to before they would have never heard about this, no? And they, they would, have no, would have no conception of what's going on here, what type of nature here is here, what, what, what do people, what, what keeps them busy on a day-to-day -day basis, no? So this is something I'm trying to get across, and this is why we built this website as well. No? So Paul, we'll take a break for now, but when yeah. we come on the other side, we'll talk more about Garu Hills, more about the conservation effort, more about the film which Paul is doing.